welcome back to my channel, Style Society. Boy, am I ever pumped to do this haul video for you guys. This has got to be the most epic of epic haul videos. I have bought so much stuff recently, it's crazy. Let me just show you guys like my stack of receipts alone. I think I built some trees through all my shopping trips. It's insane. I've got bags and bags and bags of stuff to show you. This bag is even starting to rip, so I better not hold it up like this for too long. Anyway, please do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's get to it. Are you guys ready? I'm hoping I can show everything in one video. If not, I may need to split it up because there is a lot of stuff. I don't even want to think about how much money I spent, but this is a haul video. You want to watch this stuff, so sit back and relax because there's a lot of stuff to go through. First thing I'm going to show you guys is this Dot Collection 11 piece brush set in white with gold dots like so. This one was $14.99 and let me just open it up and show you guys. Here it is. It actually looks pretty darn cute. Got little buttons and comes with a bunch of different brushes. Let's see here. Uh, there's a fan brush, powder brush, angle blush brush, classic foundation brush, tapered shadow blending brush, and a bunch of other eyeshadow brushes, and, and a lip brush. So there's actually ooh, a good variety here. Ooh. I'm most curious about this fan brush here. Let's see. It's pretty full I'd say. There's a lot of bristles in here and it seems to be pretty good quality so I have high hopes for the performance of this brush. For $9.99 I also grabbed a six piece brush set with cosmetic bag also from BH Cosmetics. This one comes with a really nice looking travel bag and it's white. It's probably gonna get dirty but whatever. Inside we have six brushes including a dual fiber powder brush, a couple of eyeshadow brushes, a contour brush, a foundation brush, and angled liner and brow brush. These brushes are smaller in size but that also means they are great for traveling. Now I do travel a lot so I'm always looking for some small size brushes that perform well. So hopefully these don't disappoint, but even if they aren't the greatest, I mean $9.99 is worth a shot. You guys know I love my nail polish and that means I do need to keep my nails nice and tidy and neat and presentable. So I did grab this six piece magic set for $6.99 and it comes with all the tools I would really ever need to keep my nails looking good. This one does come with a travel pouch, which I really like, so that keeps everything nice and neatly tucked and organized. I've got another brush to show you guys. This one is the Real Techniques Powder Brush, and this one was $9.99. Ooh, okay. Wow, this is really nice. It's really dense. It's got a ton of bristles. So you can see it is quite dense, and it's really soft as well. I like how these have a wide base at the bottom so you can stand these up on the table if you wanted to. Ta-da! Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, so I have a NARS Dual Intensity Eyeshadow for $9.99 in the shade Telesto. That's Telesto and let's do a swatch. I find that the pigmentation for NARS eyeshadows tend to be pretty good. From Ciate, I got this Lip Luster High Shine Balm for $4.99 in the shade Wildfire. This winner's location close to home shrink wraps everything, so that's really good because that prevents people from opening things up and swatching up everything. So I'm really happy that they actually do this. There's the packaging for it. That's the applicator. The 
this one isn't super pigmented, but then again, they only call this one a balm and not a liquid lipstick or a lip gloss, so I wouldn't expect this one to be super pigmented. If you can see up close, this one does have little gold specks as well. For $9.99, I grabbed this Natasha Denona lip color tint in the shade Innocent Pink. I was pretty excited to find Natasha Denona. I was hoping that maybe we'd see some palettes, but maybe that's a bit too soon for that. There's the packaging, and they do call this a lip tint, so I'm pretty curious to see the pigmentation of this. There is Innocent Pink. It's very balmy feeling. It glides on very, very smoothly. And it is buildable. Here it does look a bit more pigmented after I've run it over the same spot a few times. So the color for this can be intensified if you are looking for something to be more apparent on your lips. I grabbed a few Deborah Lipman nail polishes for $5.99 each. This one here is Lady is a Tramp. Here is Earth Angel. Chantilly Lace. And Modern Love. From Bosha, I picked up this Tsubaki Splash Mask, Highly Concentrated Instant Deep Hydration Treatment. That's the bottle, and what you're supposed to do is put this directly onto wet skin or mix this with water and then apply it to your skin. And then you're not supposed to rinse this off. So I'm curious to see what the consistency of this product is. Let's try it out actually. Okay, I'm gonna pump out some product here. Okay. Ooh, okay. Pumped it a little bit. Ooh, it feels oily. Hmm. Hopefully, I mean, if you add water to this, it will decrease the oiliness of it, but. Oh. It has a very nice herbal refreshing scent to it. So I like the scent, but it does feel quite oily. I generally don't like oily products sitting on my face, so hopefully with the water, it's gonna be not quite as oily. I'll have to test it out to see if I like this or not. From Aldrinus for only $12.99, I grabbed this Reveal Color Correcting Bronzing Powder. This one looks pretty neat in the pan. If you can see, there's various colors in there, like some turquoise and blues and yellows. Looks really neat. Let me just swatch this one here. Okay. When you swatch it, I mean, all the colors just blend together and you don't really see any of the other turquoise and blue colors. Also from Algenis, I grabbed this Reveal Ultra Shine Anti-Aging Lip Gloss for $4.99 in the shade Romance. I'm pretty surprised that this is so inexpensive because I know the luminizing drops are pretty expensive at Sephora, but then at Winners, they're only, I think, $14.99, which is pretty darn good for the performance of that product. That's the lip gloss tube, and let's open it up and do a swatch for this one. That's pretty pigmented, fairly nice. Hmm, it has a very nice, sweet, light scent to it. Kind of curious to see what this product looks like, so let's actually put this on my lips.
There it is on my lips. It's pretty moisturizing and it's not really sticky either, so that's good. But it is a gloss, so the longevity for this is probably not that great. So I think you will have to reapply throughout the day, especially if you're eating and drinking something. Okay, let's show you guys some of the milk makeup products I grabbed this month. And all I grabbed from milk makeup were these liquid strobe sticks. So these ones were $9.99 each and there were three shades. I grabbed all three. They are Aura, Beam, and Ultraviolet. Let's see what Aura looks like. There's a tube for it. And it looks like you have to push this button here to dispense the product. So I think you know you've clicked enough when the head of the ball starts to look like that. Um, let's do a swatch here. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm applying this correctly, but... I think all you have to do is roll the product and then blend it out with your finger. I don't like how the head of this can get all gooey and messy looking. Overall, it seems pretty neat and fairly easy to use, but I think I still like powder highlighters the most. Worth a try for only $9.99 though. I also want to test out Ultraviolet because I think this is going to be kind of like a holographic purpley color. But let's take a look. Uh, okay, this button does get stuck. So it's not super smooth. Like, it keeps getting stuck. No, oh, okay, definitely the stick isn't quite as smooth as the Aura one. This one, the button is stuck now. Er, okay, you have to kind of jiggle it around if this button gets stuck. This one is ultraviolet. And so it is like that purple color. More and more milk makeups are starting to creep in, but I know all the ones that I care to buy are still at Sephora at full price. But here's to hoping we will see more very soon. Also from Algenes, I got this Review 6-in-1 Color Correcting Concealer in the shade Light. This one was $6.99. So it's a small tube, not too large. Wow, the consistency is very thick, so you don't need a whole lot. Yep, this product is thick. A lot of Urban Decay products have popped up at Winners. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I've come across a lot of lip palettes and eyeshadow palettes from them. But I actually didn't buy any of those palettes because First of all, I thought they were still pricey and I wasn't going to use a lot of the shades in them like the Heavy Metals one. I don't really see myself using all those colors and it was $49.99 so I decided to pass on those palettes. I did however pick up some lip items so I'm going to show you guys those. First I have the lip oil stick and this one was $12.99 and I think this is basically just a lip there is the tube. The product looks pretty neat in that it is see-through. Very, very interesting. It looks like jelly. Now that I see that the name is lip oil stick, this just looks like solidified oil to me. 
It smells nice though. It's a little bit sweet smelling. And then I also got the Rehab Makeup Prep Lip Love for $12.99. This one looks to be like another lip balm. It's got shea butter, coconut oil, so it should be pretty moisturizing. Yep, it's just your basic lip balm. That's good. It's important to make sure that your lips are moisturized so that when you're applying stuff like a lipstick, you don't have them chapped lips. Okie doke, and then I grabbed three Naked Urban Decay lip glosses. The shades are Mooner, Love Child, and Beso. Let's take a look at Mooner. Packaging is very, very nice. There's the applicator. That is Mooner. This next one is Love Child. And this one is beso, which means kiss in Espanol. Sorry, this isn't a very good swatch. There we go. I guess $16.99 is still maybe on the pricey side, but I don't know, I'm a sucker for anything that I find at Winners that also sells at Sephora. Whenever I see something like that, I'm just like, <gasps> I need to grab it. This is discounted. It's a good deal. I need to grab it. But I am learning. I know some of the products aren't actually discounted that much. So do your research, do your looking up online, Google everything and everything. It's not a bad idea to grab something first though and think on it because there have been a few things that Winners has later jacked up the price for. For example, the Tarte Park, the Tarte Park Ave Princess palette. That one I picked up for twenty nine ninety nine, and then it's now selling for thirty nine ninety nine. And then I noticed that the Smashbox Trio Contour Sticks, those were twenty nine ninety nine, and now that's forty nine ninety nine, which is a pretty big jump. So you snooze, you lose. Grab something first if you think you might like it and then think on it. From NYX, I picked up the Butt Naked palette. This one was $24.99 and comes with a bunch of eyeshadows and some blushes and bronzers and highlighters. Whew. That's the palette and you open it up. These are the shades inside, so there's a lot of neutral colors, and then you've got some plums in there as well. Should be able to do some work appropriate looks with this, as well as transition into some smoky eyed looks for a night out. The bottom part just slides out, and it comes with four blushes, a bronzer, and two highlighters. I think the value is pretty good in terms of what you get in this kit. Okay guys, I've moved on to the next bag of stuff. Let's just power through here. I got this Makeup Forever, my first makeup set. And this comes with a bunch of small size goodies. Let's see here. This is what's included in the set. In the kit, you get a primer, HD powder, eyeliner, mascara, and lip gloss. So this is a great way to test out some Makeup Forever products if you aren't familiar with the brand and haven't tried any of these products. And this would actually be pretty good for travel as well since all of these are mini sizes. At $3.99 each, I picked up some nail polishes from Color Club. These three are from the Rose Remedy Collection and they actually smell like roses after you apply them and they do have a matte finish to them. This one here is Blooming Beauty and I'm actually wearing that right now so you can see what this one looks like on my nails. And I have Special Delivery and this one is Best Buds. Aren't these bottles gorgeous? They have this frosted glass finish to them, so it would look pretty nice on your vanity. Oh my god, you guys, I lunged at these nail polishes when I saw them because they were so cheap, $12.99 only. 
These ones are nail polishes from Guerlain, which is a pretty pricey brand. And I can't believe they're only $12.99. This one here is Firebow and oh, the bottle is so cute. So, so cute. And then I also got red heels. I know they look so similar, right? I think side by side, you may or may not be able to tell the difference. They look so close. From Chanel, I picked up one nail polish and this one was $19.99, which was a surprise to me because I did come across Chanel nail polishes in the past from winners that were priced at $29.99. So I also lunged at this, although this isn't a shade that I would normally wear. This one is 538 Grease Obscure, which is basically like a dark gray slash black shade. Carrying on with more nail polish, I picked up some shades from Dolce & Gabbana, and these were $16.99 each. I grabbed four of them. This one here is Wild Green. This one is Maya. This one here is just a clear top coat. This one is Grey Pearl. Not quite sure why this one looks different from the rest of them. These ones are taller and skinnier. But I mean, they still look really nice. I think these ones would look great on someone's vanity once again. Okay guys, I'm going to end the first part here so that I can quickly edit and get this uploaded for you guys to view. But stay tuned because I will be uploading the second part shortly after. See you guys later. Bye!